obviously you can keep recording. Yes, sir. We're gonna. Mm. We just have to talk with one of the people who's here. Okay. I'm not gonna make you stop. All I'm gonna ask is that if you don't mind, we prefer that you didn't record the person just because there are some private. It's just to respect his privacy. What's that? My who? No. <laughs> Did I look like him? Can we help you something? I'm just checking out what's going on. Gotcha. You're fine totally where you're at, okay? Do you have any affiliation with the house at all? No, no, I actually am an independent journalist. I heard it on the radio, something about an ME coming out. Yeah, you have to do that. Okay. That's the main reason why I didn't want to get in the way. Although I'm kind of surprised I made it here from Janesville before the ME got here. Yeah, sometimes they're fast, sometimes not so much. Yeah, it's kind of like Rock County Bomb Squad. So I'm not sure what exactly, but I can guess. They got an ME coming out. Somehow I made it down to here before the ME got here, and I heard that on the radio probably about 25, give or take 25 minutes ago. And I wasn't exactly flying to get here either. So they got crime scene tape going up. They were asking me if I was somebody named Derek. We're looking at this house right here, so I'm gonna get up to the tape. Not gonna go past it respectfully. Let's see if we can get a better shot up here. All right, so this is the house.
I do have an officer across the street questioning a neighbor, so I'm not sure if this was a shot fire incident or if this is something else. Didn't get all the radio traffic on it, I just heard that the enemy was heading down here. We got it taped off right after I got here. I'm not 100% sure what exactly transpired here. This is somebody who just passed away or if this is somebody who was shot. So, you know. Sergeant. I'm trying to get their names before I leave. And this is the medical examiner who is just now showing up. There we go, we got the medical examiner. This medical examiner has arrived. Took a bit of time. And another squad that pulled up unmarked. I'm presuming detective. I'm not sure who this is. This may be someone who knows someone here. This address. All right, so just got done talking to the couple people down, a couple of houses down from here, and uh, it was alleged heroin addicts in this house. Not for sure on that one, but apparently yesterday it was a U-Haul truck over here, and upon leaving or shortly after, somebody put up a camera, and here we are today. So I'm not sure what's the exact story.
obviously you can keep recording. Yes, sir. We're gonna. Mm. We just have to talk with one of the people who's here. Okay. I'm not gonna make you stop. All I'm gonna ask is that if you don't mind, we prefer that you didn't record the person just because there are some private. It's just to respect his privacy. It's not but mine. I'm, I don't care. You can record me all you want. Yeah, understood. Okay, so we're just going to talk with him, and we're, we're going to move him into a different car. Okay. So like I said, I'm, I just appreciate it if you didn't. If you do, I'm not going to make you not do it. I'm just asking you to be a decent person. Well, I'll be respectful on that one. That's not a problem. Okay. <clears throat> um, is there any information you can give me at all as far as what's going on? All that here? I can tell you right now is that we're investigating a death investigation. Oh, yeah, I kind of got that. Yep. And outside of that we don't really know the, okay the, i mean just got here right so um it's obviously not normal circumstances but we don't know what's going on yet all so right that's all that we know right now not a problem okay. audio yeah, do you have a business card yep, that's awesome and then before i leave is there a way i can get the names of the officers that were on scene um unless you can tell me right now yeah yeah i mean i can tell just you their name it, it doesn't matter about badge numbers or anything uh, like that yeah. so that is officer Brotek. there's officer b here officer bittner is okay. here Yeah, that's it. Okay. Just us. And yep. then you're planning it. Planning it. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, you bet. It's going to be like hours. Right. So, I mean, normally these go pretty fast, but in this case, obviously it's you be can a listen while. to the scanner and you're going to know in 10 minutes anyway, but they're requesting another doc to come out. So, when the doc comes, sometimes they're coming from Madison. So, you're talking, it could be. Yeah, it's going to be a while. A long time. So, just up to you if you want to do whatever you want. So this is seen here in Beloit. Uh, so the updates, I just got information from the sergeant is there is another ME coming out here from Madison. So it's going to be quite a bit of time. I'm going to cut out of here. I've uh, kind of got what I needed here and I've got a general idea of what may have happened. Um, they're not going to release any information on the exact cause of death right now. So I'm not going to get some kind of a money shot of the body being brought out here just out of respect but that's what happens in Beloit apparently and apparently the street I'm on has had a lot of uh, deaths if you will shooting stabbings so we'll see but I'm out of here I got some other places to be in the meantime stay safe pray faithfully I'll see y'all in the next one